Today we'll talk about hypokalemia, otherwise defined as low potassium. The most common cause is diuretics. Always evaluate the medication list for diuretics in a patient with hypokalemia. Hypokalemia can be categorized by acid-base status. As the causes fill on the screen, think about what goes in what group. Column 1, acidotic causes of hypokalemia. Column 2, neutral or shift causes of hypokalemia. And column 3, alkalotic causes of hypokalemia, further divided into hypertensive hypokalemia and normotensive hypokalemia. Under our acidotic causes of hypokalemia, diarrhea is one cause. The other cause is renal tubular acidosis. This can be further divided into distal RTA and proximal RTA. Distal RTA commonly associated with Sjogren's syndrome and proximal RTA commonly associated with multiple myeloma. Under our neutral causes, there are medications and other states that cause shift of potassium intracellularly. This includes the sympathetic nervous system. When there's increased tone, potassium tends to shift intracellularly. Other medical medication causes include insulin, diuretics, and the extended penicillins as well as albuterol. Extended penicillins include piperacillin, tazobactam, or other penicillin derivatives, which lead to intracellular shift or excretion of potassium in the urine. And the final cause in this grouping is hypokalemic periodic paralysis, associated with paralysis and hypokalemia, seen commonly after a large carbohydrate meal or exercise, stimulating insulin and the sympathetic nervous system. Under our alkalotic causes of hypokalemia, there are many, including Kahn syndrome, renal arachidosis, pheochromocytoma, Cushing's, and Littles. Littles is a defect of the epithelial sodium channel, otherwise known as the ENAC. Under normotensive hypokalemia, there's nausea, vomiting, and then there's Barter's and Gittleman syndrome. Rare conditions, but important to define. Barter's, in Barter's syndrome, the body mimics continuous infusion of furosemide, and in Gittleman syndrome, it mimics continuous infusion of hydrochlorothiazide. These can be further classified by urinary calcium excretion, which is elevated in Barter's and low in Gittleman's. So in summary, hypokalemia is a common electrolyte abnormality and can be defined by acid-base status. This is hypokalemia.